Newcastle versus Liverpool on the 23rd of November at St James's Park. A match described by The Athletics News as one of the most memorable games ever witnessed on the banks of the Tyne. Liverpool came to St James's Park as league champions. An important part of this film is the evidence it presents of a previously unknown stand on the Barrack Road side of the ground. This was demolished in 1905. Although it's difficult to make out the action and the players, the Liverpool man here seen giving the ball to the referee is their inspirational captain and Scottish international Alex Racebeck. Other Scottish internationals on the pitch that day, including the goal scorer for Newcastle in the 65th minute, Bob McCall, who went on to open a chain of news agents after his retirement. Highlights in the second half include a shot of the Liverpool keeper, Bill Perkins, wearing the same kit as his teammates rather than a goalkeeper's shirt. He made 117 appearances for Liverpool until 1903, when he was transferred to Northampton Town. The match was filmed by three separate cameramen for Mitchell and Kenyon, and the game was attended by more than 18,000 spectators. Other aspects to enjoy are the prolific advertisements demonstrating the early introduction of commercialisation and sponsorship into the people's game. Burnley v Manchester United was filmed on the 6th of December 1902 and is perhaps one of the poorest films in the collection in terms of its photographic quality. Its interest is that it is believed to be the first film that features Manchester United in their first season as Manchester United. United, who were then better known as Newton Heath, who are now at this point in the second division when they played Burnley in December 1902. No record of the film showing has been found, possibly due to the fact of the poor quality of the material, but also that the home team, in this case Burnley, lost 2-0 with goals by Peg for Manchester United. Less than 2,000 people witnessed this match at Turf Moor in Burnley and shows the inauspicious beginnings to arguably the world's most famous football club. Throughout the newspaper report at the time, the team are referred to as Manchester United, who were better known as Newton Heath. And the commentators often call them the United, as opposed to Manchester United. A South Yorkshire derby between Rotherham Town and Thornhill, who played in the Sheffield League, filmed on the 11th of February 1902. These were two of the original Rotherham clubs who merged in 1925 to be known as Rotherham United. Rotherham Town are in the strip with the white half on the left, Thornhill of the white half on the right. More than 3,000 locals came to watch this spectacle held on the red house ground belonging to the local publican. The match itself was abandoned after 55 minutes due to the poor quality of the pitch, but not before Albert Wilkinson had filmed highlights of the game to be shown later that week at the Drill Hall in Rotherham. The handling of the Rotherham Town goalie in white leaves something to be desired. The spectators, their face still covered in pit dirt, line up alongside Albert Wilkinson, the showman exhibitor, and smile for the camera. The crowd are entirely male, 
and without exception they're wearing flat caps and working gear in complete contrast to the elegance of the sporting crowds at cricket and athletic events. This film is one of the most stunning in terms of quality in the entire Mitchell and Kenyon collection. It opens with a magnificent one minute pan shot of the crowd at Bramall Lane where a sea of faces stare back towards the camera. No woman's present in the crowd, possibly as this was the standing area. The scene conjures up J.B. Priestley's description of the terraces as a place where you became a member of a new community, all brothers together for an hour and a half. Sheffield United were one of the leading teams in the first division and the action on the pitch features them in the Stripes versus Bury. Taken on the 6th of September 1902, we see Bury on the defence for much of the game. Sheffield United dominated the attack with the England captain Ernest Needham playing for the Blades. Bury were poor with the Athletic News reporting, I cannot say much of the Bury attack, it was like a patchwork quilt without the design. brief glimpse of the John Street stand built in 1902, the first commission outside Glasgow of Archibald Leach, the famous architect of football stadiums responsible for grounds like Highbury, Goodison Park and Villa Park amongst others. The goalkeeper incidentally is one of the first celebrity footballers, the infamous William Fatty Fulks. The earliest example of a Merseyside derby on film, shot on the 27th of September 1902 at Goodison Park. The crowd numbered 40,000. The visual quality is poor, but all sides of this magnificent ground can be seen. Perkins was again in goal for Liverpool, with Ray Speck as captain. Everton won the game three goals to one, and the reporter for the Athletics News commentated that much joy and what handshaking greeted each goal. The Everton winger Sharp with his clever wing play was man of the match. He also played first-class cricket for Lancashire. 